All right, guys, welcome to the INBF Canada Athlete and Trainer Series. We're here with the Pro Master Trainer, Mr. Mark Campbell with Marked Improvement, and Miss Angela O'Neill, the Conscious Coach CC. She is in the INBF Canada jersey over there. You can definitely can't miss her over there with that white and black. And Mark with his, uh, you know, white teeth smile over there. So, uh, Guys, let's start things off here kind of with a little background of each, if you don't mind, share about a minute or so of your background and, and where you got, what you guys do, your history. Obviously, Mark, you know, you're know you in the INBF for quite some time. Give us this kind of go with you first. Tell us a bit about yourself, your business, and what you do. Well, I'm, I have a business called Marked Improvement. It's a personal training company. Uh, we've had the opportunity to get more and more into the hobby of, of bodybuilding, which then led to more of a facet of our career. We... we very much enjoy the natural bodybuilding, and, uh, and the INBF definitely represents everything that we fit into, and the family atmosphere of INBF really brought us in to uh, a closer, you know, c- closer quarters with uh, natural athletes, and then natural athletes started to, to come towards us, and we're never afraid to take on anyone from wherever they're at. You know, as I mentioned uh, to you before earlier, marked improvement is making a difference from wherever people come from. And I got the opportunity to be coach to to Miss Angela here, and she is uh, she's an amazing individual. She's a really great example of of how much natural bodybuilding can change your life. So I'm really glad to be here today. Thank you, Mark. Angela O'Neill, the conscious coach. So you know you're over there flashing the INBF Canada jersey. You know flexing those muscles, ready for the stage in about nine and a half weeks. We're excited to have you on the stage, here, Angela. And so tell us more about yourself. Um, well, in January, I just decided that I was going to just take a whole new leap into my health. And, you know, it was kind of rocky and people, you know, are often sitting on the fence. And I just, you know, wanted to find a way that I was going to make sure that I commit. And I wanted to do it naturally. I wanted to do it um, just based on eating and working out and just learning the strength of my mind and my body. And through that, I just stuck exactly to the program. I did it exactly what Mark told me to do the night before, the next day switched on. And then through that, I just learned a whole lot about what we're capable of. And so now I offer um, health coaching myself and I do meal prep and, um, and just offer uh, coaching and product partnered with USANA so that I can have an overall package to help people um, you know, kind of get in tune with their mindsets and be able to mind over matter and then move into their health. So I love it. That's such a fantastic mix you have there, Angela. I love it. Perfect for the for hitting the stage here and INBF there for the Edmonton Pro Am show. You're gonna be ready to go for sure. <laughs> so Angela, here here's the thing. So the whole context of our INBF athlete series and trainer series is to really understand you know, the, the story behind everything and also share some tips and strategies that you, you go through and from Mark and yourself on we can also help the people watching this and listening as well when they're embarking on their journey to the, to the stage as well. So sharing the inspiration of what, you, what you've gone through, Angela, from your, you know, your challenges to your triumphs, your wins, your losses to, you know, the things you would share to really help other women out there who want to compete for the first time or who have done multiple shows but want to do it the natural way. And you're obviously, you know, you're like an ambassador for us to help us really understand and help them, you know, teach them the methods. And you're obviously a coach too, which is really great. So with that being said, tell us, is this, you know, have you competed before? Or is this kind of your first show or you did multiple shows? I didn't have any experience. I think I had like two or three months experience training prior to January. And I had no experience in the gym before that. So now, so what, I just, okay, so you work with Mark for how long then? Um, I got in touch with Mark when I was referred to him in December and then we started up and I started training there with one of his trainers and coaching with Mark in February. I love it. And your social following, uh, Mark was mentioning this too, your social following is just blowing up. Uh, so what, what is your whole social following, you know, focused on that's created so much value? Well, um, what I guess I had to come from a standpoint of where I, uh, what I noticed made the most changes for me and really um, I started off with my Healthy Minds, Healthy Bodies page on Facebook because I wanted to take people through the journey. Like I didn't want people just to see the before and after shot and not see the in between because then no one would actually know what it takes and how often and how committed you have to be 
to get results. So I decided to, you know, post everything I do, <laughs> even if it's just me posting sometimes so that people could see. And, um, you know, just I kept incorporating it. And then once I decided to compete, I was like, this is it. Because I was on the fence too. I was roller coastering. I was stuck in certain habits and, and couldn't fully commit. And, um, you know, I just used the IMBF as a way for me to have a deadline because I wasn't going to get on stage <laughs> if I wasn't ready. Like anyone who knows me knows that's not happening. So um, once I decided to um, compete, it really just turned around for me because I had uh, coaching. I had someone monitoring me. I had a purpose. I had a, a goal. And, um, you know, since then, I've just it just kind of making that choice has been able to put me in contact with other people. And that's really how my social media has started to grow. What inspired you to start competing though? Um, because I was just sick and tired of being sick and tired. Like I wanted results. I've always wanted results my whole life. I've always wanted to be in shape. I've always, um, internally and externally wanted to feel balanced. And I'm somebody who, like the things I picked up was that people feel all these different ways and a lot of it is because they're not in control of, of their physical and, and um, healthy life. And so they always feel kind of off and everyone's kind of upset and complaining and no one really feels good. And I wanted to feel good in my skin inside and out. And... Um, <laughs> I don't know. I just, I, once I, like, I knew that it was my thoughts that was going to change the decisions I made daily, right? It was kind of making that choice in between, am I going to choose that? Am I going to choose that? Am I going to sit down or, or am I going to run? Am I going to work out or am I going to be tired? And, and I, and, and when you get to know people ever, so many people have want to be healthy and so many people struggle with fig figuring out how to fit it into their life and how to actually like get off the fence and so, I don't know, I knew I needed something big. <laughs> I was like, if I do this, something's going to change. And that's, and it went literally from one night, you know, kind of stuffing my face and trying to indulge a little bit in the foods. And then the next day I prepared my food and I knew, I knew it was on and I just did everything. And in that, in that 16 weeks, like it, it really did change my life. Like it, it wrapped my head around the gym. Uh, going on stage was a very cool experience. And um, I just followed the program I was given, and I lost like 40 pounds. And I mean, if you saw where my body was before, it's a really different ball game than where it is now. In a very wow. small amount of, very small amount of time. How tall are you? I'm five four. Wow! So 40 pounds, eh? Yeah, that's incredible. I think I'm 53, and then I stage weighted at 122. So, Mark, when Angela first came to you, you know, on this journey and embarking with Angela, this is back in, it sounds like this uh, January almost, uh, when you guys started training together. Uh, what was sort of your process of getting her to really, you know, get on board for the first time and, you know, taking her through a healthy process to really align her to do it right from the holistic way? Well, first of all, we believe in abundance. And, and deprivation is not going to be the best bet. Maybe it'll get you a result right now, taking away calories, making your body eat itself. But we have an approach that's more about getting all of the foods from the macro groups, making sure that all your micronutrients are taken care of so that there's nothing missing and that you have more than enough of what you do need and your body will ultimately let go of what it doesn't. And so by bringing in the foods that, that may have been missing, not even the volume of foods, but the, 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 uh, the, the proper placement of the foods, the proper balance within each meal, allowing each of the foods to do what they're created to do. And Angela just, she, she took it and ran with it. She, she made, she became kind of a, uh, a gourmet meal junkie uh, out of, out of the calories that she was given. She, she cre created these really cool meals. She was always, always open ears um, for any new meals that we have. You know, we do things through a Facebook group. We have a team a team Facebook group. So, you know, I'm only one person, and as I mentioned, my organizational skills aren't aren't always up to the the best. So, she would glean from the different competitors, those who had done before, uh, and just just took that abundance of calories and and the meal timings, and really made a, quite a bit of a science. And she was she's quite exemplary. I'll, I'll be honest with you, because she didn't 
she didn't say why can't I have this and why why you know when can I have this and I want to have this and there was not there was no whining. She just said I have a job to do and this is my job. But the cool thing is that her body was changing as fast as she was making those adaptations and and she she loved it. She was really remember I, you know because we had a chance to talk you and my Matt and we talked a lot about things that are important to me and and instilling in my in my in the clients and in the competitors and one of those was self-love and Angela loves herself and and I can say that you know with with the most purest of of appreciation for someone who takes the time to really love themselves and she probably through that experience I know personally she through that experience gained a lot of other knowledge as well just by by uh, putting herself first and making sure she did this as as she said, she followed it exactly. There was there was. I never had to scold her. Not that I do a lot of that scolding. In fact, I'm probably the most laid back coach. But uh, all I could do is commend her because there was nothing else to do. Uh-huh. So, Angela, when you embarked on that, you know, unique, you know, approach of Mark's, the holistic approach, you know, where you get all the elements you required to really do it the healthy way. Uh, what was sort of, you know, were you thinking, oh my gosh, I'm not used to that sort of a unique way. I'm used to people like, you know, you know, hearing the myths out there, you know, of, of the wrong ways to do things, you know what I mean? And the mis- mis- misconceptions. And then you're on this journey. And how did you really face that journey for the first time? Was it really fun, enjoyable? Explain the process when you first started. Um, okay, so I, I've taken time to think about this prior, right? Because it's the only way you can really help anybody else is kind of going through your experience. And, you know, I know everybody has their own um, scenarios, but for me personally, I was ready. And, and I took it really as, as a blessing um, because I wanted it that bad. Like, I, I, for me, I chose to be there and I did it because I knew I needed help. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, I had that self-love always there but there was pieces missing like there was things that I wasn't doing that were making me feel anxious and I needed to fix that so when I came in I was just blessed to be there and so for me it was really weird like I kept trying to go back and be like why isn't this process bothering me like why am I not feeling like overwhelmed or underwhelmed or anything I just I just the whole thing just seemed like this quick process that gave me great results and um, I've actually completely taken on Mark's strategy and talk to people all the time because everybody believes that we need to eat less as a weight loss thing. Whereas I believe that it's not just the physical attributes of a person, but it's about being internally healthy as well. And um, when you start eating more and you're eating better foods and you're losing weight you and then you can keep it off and also eat and you're not craving and not hungry and stuff you realize that I think a lot of the problem is that people are thinking that they need to eat less to lose weight but you just need to eat the right foods and whole foods in a balanced way and I learned all that through Mark like I didn't even know like I just started off kind of doing what he told me and just kind of going through the motion and then eventually I was like hold on here and then even after now I've been able to keep myself in kind of a gains mode and um and i'm growing but i mean i eat kind of similar to how i did when i was on prep with a few more snacks but i mean and so now when i'm teaching people it's like i just think the mentality needs to be switched you can eat you just need to understand what you're eating Mm -hmm. that's a really really good point You've really been educated very, very well. For not, even, not even actually physically in your first show. You know, it sounds like you've been doing this for ten years. <laughs> that shows your coach. Uh, you know, you may know him. Uh, you know, it sounds like he's pretty knowledgeable. <laughs> he's a good guy. <laughs> so now, why do you choose to be drug free? Give us an, give us your definition of why you choose to do your lifestyle, your prep. You know, completely clean. I don't know. I mean, I can't. I don't. I can't say too much about anybody else's, again, process. Um, I can only speak for myself. And um, just, I just, I have a, I come from a a holistic background because that's what my dad does. Um, And I just, I don't know. I just, for me, I just want to know what my body's capable of doing. Mm. And, um, you know, it's amazing what the body can do when, when it knows what it needs and, and when you can work it out, I mean, a lot of time people are like, oh, you know, you have this fast metabolism. Like, did you see me before? Like, <laughs> I don't think you've been with me my whole life here. Like, you know, it, but 
To me, I just jumped into it, and I just wanted to make sure that, like, for me, I just wanted to to see the capabilities of my body on its own, and um, it's just kind of the the way that I've been raised holistically to be there, and so naturally, just worked the best for me. So, I want to pass it over to to Mark because I want to ask him, you know, you know, his perception on drug free because obviously he's been in this doing in, in this industry for over almost two decades, so. Uh, you know, hearing from a coach's perspective, why you choose your athletes to live that lifestyle? Well, you know, it's the the INVF logo is to prove yourself, and and I think that Angela did highlight that, and that she wanted to see what she was capable of. And I never want anyone to doubt themselves. And if it comes down to it, at the end, when someone knows they've used some some aids to to get themselves to a place that might have even been first place, you you really. And I'm not taken away from the athletes that have used some substances and have done the hard work. There's still hard work involved either way. But from my experience, some of that, some of those imbalances, first of all, in the contest are those that can't afford as much of that stuff. They don't do as well. Uh, people that don't get the right information or don't get the right gear end up hurting themselves medically. And, and for life, and in fact, you don't hear about the stories too often, but there's there's life and death situations when it comes to that. There's early uh, early lives. You're, you're not going to live. There's not a lot of bodybuilders that are old in, in that age because of what it's done to, to some of their other stuff. So the more that I became educated, um, the, the more that I found it, it it's a level playing field to stay natural, to to... To, again, to be able to prove that what you did and to feel good about what you did, knowing that you gave 100%. And there was, I mean, the, the advantages that you can choose then are the coach that you choose. They're the gym that, that you choose, the workout partners that you choose, um, the maybe some of the routines that you might, you know, bring, the, the practice and posing and the, the bringing out your, your, you know, showing your true self and your, and your energy. Those things are judged at a natural level where they're quite often overlooked at, at some of the other competitions that, that do allow that. Um, because it is, it is a whole package and, and we're, we're really, uh, again, it's about that self love. If you really love yourself, you'll do what you can do for yourself and you'll be happy where you place because you don't have to win first place to be a winner. And, and not, not saying that Angela won't get that, pro card or that first place next time but she was one of the biggest winners because she took what the the contest showed her that she could do and she's really run with it and she's now affecting other people and positively making an impact on other people because they they know that she can look them straight face and say i don't take anything you know maybe a tylenol for a headache from working out too hard or you know you know those kinds of um you know i think vitamins and, and such that was all within the guidelines that are allowed because i mean there's a lot of things that you can have there's a lot of uh, leeway that you can have in the natural so i just don't think that you have to go as far as hurting yourself to win win once and and not for life i'd rather win for life angela's a perfect example that's a great point great point angela in your journey angela to the stage right now because right now you have about nine weeks left you know right now it's august the 22nd this obviously won't go out, you know, the, today or anything, but it'll be going out fairly soon here. And so, when you're during this stage right now, like, what sort of, um, how have you felt so far in this journey? I want to ask your perspective. So, you know, you're nine weeks out. Do you? How do you feel? Do you feel, you know, obviously, Mark, the amazing coach, is training you, but it sounds like your energy is through the roof. With most competitors, will be drained right now, you know. And you know, you're, you you sound like you're laughing before the interview. We actually were joking around with some jokes. So tell us kind of where you're at right now in this mid-part process. Mark, you go ahead. <laughs> she's, she's actually not competing this season, Matt. She's taken a year off, to this season off, to build and to build her business. Okay. Um, she, she's staying in really great shape. And as she mentioned, she's seeing some gains in, in muscular gains. She's keeping within about, I think, five or eight pounds of stage. I don't think she's much more than than that. So those are the wins. And that really is, I'm sorry to jump in, but... Um, you know, there is, she's in, in our team, we don't encourage her to do every contest because there is, a, there is an ebb and a flow in results. As you know, Matt, you haven't competed every year. Uh, this is her season off 
she's definitely coming back at it with with a vengeance and with a, with a big run at it. But uh, it's that finishes your point. Perfect. See that again. In May. In yeah, May. May. Okay, yeah, so May, May of 2017. Yeah. Awesome. Love it. So now give us a perception for other athletes listening that, you know, first timers or maybe veterans, you know, they've done a couple of shows for women out there who have had this idea of wanting to think of competing one day or going on a stage one day, but always have that story in their head saying, well, I'm not good enough or I don't have the body for, I don't have, you know, I have too much weight to lose. What do you tell women like that for the first time, you know, from your whole experience so far? Well, I think, first of all, you need to figure out where you stand, why you're doing it, and what you want to get out of it, right? Because if you're doing it and you want to get something out of it that's that's healthy and it's going to make you, you know, ultimately a better person or reach those goals, then you're golden. But if you go into it and you're going into it for the wrong reasons, it's going to be, it's probably going to be rocky. It is a fan fantastic opportunity to learn consistency and to push yourself and what you get out of that is way 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 more memorable if you are doing it for the right reason like you can have a fantastic experience with the right mindset and appreciation for it um so as long as you're you're ready and or even if you're not ready but you want it and it's for something that's going to better you as a person, go in, enjoy it. Um, you know, try not to complain too much. Just know that everything that you're doing is is going to help you get your goals. So as long as you're just kind of you jump in and you're you you accept the process, it's going to be phenomenal. Like it will be definitely like a life changing experience. But you just you got to go into it and want it for sure. So how do you how do you get to want it every day? So what 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 is what is your why or your ritual you do that you're like just hungry for it every single day? Well, I think it depends what your background is because everybody has a different story, right? Some people are like my story was I was sick and tired of being sick and tired. I was like I don't want to do this anymore. I want to feel good. I want more energy. I want to get results. I want to have a body that's in shape. I want to be internally healthy. Um, you know, and so with that said, that, that was enough for me to care enough to do it. It was, I was, I was putting myself, I, I, you always have to remember that no one's forcing you to be there. Like if you decide to go into it and you're doing it, you're doing it for you. You're not doing it. Like if you, if someone else, like no one's pushing you into something, if you choose to be there, um, then you just gotta, you just gotta remind yourself why you're doing it. And, um, you know, and then that hopefully will take away from complaining about the process because you're like, wait, I chose to be here. So let me just take it for what it is. And and that and the other thing that I wanted to mention is is when I was working with Mark, there's two things. There's two specific things that I saw in the contract that kind of kicked my butt into gear. The first one was that three strikes and you're out. <laughs> I was like, okay, I got to make sure that I'm not making, that I'm following. And the other one that was huge was that um, it's only 16 weeks of your life. Wow. That's powerful. I love this. This is a pretty cool contract, man. <laughs> but it's 16 weeks of your life. And when you look at the big picture and you look at how, like that, that amount there, um, yeah. I just felt that that was that was it right there. So. Okay, I got I got to ask Mark this question. So, with three strikes, you're out. Tell me, so does that mean if someone doesn't follow their diet, they're out? <laughs> you know, I, sh- I probably shouldn't have anyone else hear this, but I'm pretty. I, you know, I wanted to have an opportunity to, to to give a little bit of urgency for the people to to follow it because some people will come back and they'll say, you know what, I'm. I, I had a crazy weekend. I, I had you know pile of alcohol. I had some burgers, a pizza. I went all out, and I gained only twelve pounds this weekend. And and that would that would be kind of the warranting a strike, as it were. Uh, it was actually a really great um, professional coach. Uh, I won't mention his name, but you know him, and and he he's given me a couple of pieces of wisdom, and one of them was, you know, you have to set your boundaries. If you don't have boundaries, people will. People will take them, and and you know I probably still need some more. I probably still do need some more. But the three strikes it's out. I I remember uh, Angela and a few other people coming to me like that's that I'm not in, like I'm not in trouble. I might I'm okay. Like I'm no strikes. Like 
you know, you're fine. That you, you you miss 15 calories one day, you're good. You're okay. It's you're, you're going to be fine. Um, or mistakes people made. Mistakes aren't aren't a strike. Mistakes, if anything, are a strike for you, not against you, because mistakes teach you. But there's there's a difference between just going crazy and so I've never actually I've never actually used the rule. If you really want to know, I, I just I, I like sh- I know because it kept me committed. Yeah, it's actually a really smart. It's a really smart idea, actually. But the honest truth, I think it's brilliant, and uh, you know, it's a, it's a real smart way, like you said, to keep people committed. Because if we don't have no boundaries in coaching, you're right. Because obviously, when I coach people as well, if there's no boundaries in place, people will, well, even thinking about it consciously, will just make that decision. Well, you know, it's let one slide and then two slide and three slide. Where this kind of way, at least you're more conscious to being aware of yourself, like you with you, Angela, right, with what you're doing and. And you become a better athlete, better person because you respect yourself more because of the way Mark, you know, put out that process. Yeah. I like, it. love it. What's well, kind of going from the three strikes? <laughs> 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 that was a great little hot topic. I was like, this is great. This is a good topic. <laughs> I didn't think it was that serious. I'm like, yeah, I would expect anybody to kind of have like, you know, here's how you can be successful. So. So good. So, Angela, okay, so you're prepping for, obviously, for May right now. So you're, I guess you would say you're probably half, you know, in the half, kind of halfway mark from what I'm kind of gathering. Um, so, Mark, kind of with, with Angela here, what are you, like, when do you really start her, like, honestly prepping, like, really strong for the Calgary show? Is that going to be January, or is she kind of slowly working her way into, into things right now? You know what, because she's keeping on track right now, and she's, like she said, a couple of more snacks here and there, but be that she's moderating her own weight and I, I think within I think about eight pounds of of actual you know her stage weight um, and, and as, as little as little weight as we need to take off is what what we want to do as you know in a, in a second third fourth season uh, be the, the good the good clients the ones that realize they, they don't stay too far away from stage um, so you know you know the body doesn't have to experience so much of a loss. But rather just uh, just a bit of a sprint to the finish. So the the real hard focus, of course, comes in the last sixteen to twenty weeks. Um, but there's there's some influence now and in between now and then because it's where is your body at? What 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 changes are being made? What changes are not being made? What you know, knowing what she's doing for her workouts and her workouts are amazing. Um, especially considering you know this is this is a great example. Of someone from really no exercise experience prior has come to making a really good show on stage and again moreover this is the next showing that's going to come up second third season so i would say i'm monitoring i'm monitoring she's staying on it really good um i don't let a person wherever i have the uh influence i don't let them go too far away from their stage weight because you know it's important ultimately so Little bit of interjections here and there, big big push on the last sixteen weeks. Everyone's different though, so that's that's Angela's story. Someone who's having a hard time in 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 the weight. I'm a little bit heavier on this side now, trying to keep the weight off or to, or to work towards that goal so that the the last little bit can be about you know skin toning and can be about posing and can be those focuses, not just about weight loss. It's not a weight loss contest. So, Ash, let's point the put over to you. So, before we end our shows, I want to ask you. So, what's one thing you want to share with those girls out there doing their doing a competition, and also where can people find you online with your Facebook group as well? Um. So, the last piece of advice that I would probably um, share is that you know everything you do, um, you know, starts with the self love and self talk. Um, huge. That's the, and, and then, you know, and make sure that you don't, and that's why I, we went with the conscious coach because everything that I learned was about being conscious and like almost like getting up, walking through your day, you've got to start paying attention to what you are and aren't doing and, uh, and accept that there's no one to blame. You're responsible for what happens to you, um, in regards to your choices. So I would just say that, you know, having really strong self-talk that's helping you and being gentle with yourself and um, kind of competing against yourself, I guess, um, would be my recommendation is that, you know, keep it humble and a, a nice internal process and then you can 
feel good about it. And the other place that you can reach me is at Facebook. On uh, You can just type in Healthy Minds, Healthy Bodies. And um, just right away, I'll be having my website coming out, which will be The Conscious Coach. And on Instagram, it's The Conscious Coach. Fabulous. I like the name. So cool. Love it, guys. Let me sure you guys check Angela out online. Mr. Mark Campbell, what is one piece of advice you want to share and where can people find you? Well, you can certainly find me at uh, at uh, markedimprovement.ca and uh, through my Facebook as well. Um, the best piece of advice you you need to you need to be in the right team, and that that that's a focus of where you're competing, making sure that the the competition is full of you know the family atmosphere that I found in the INBF. It's certainly certainly my best choice, my, my highest recommendation. Um, Finding the right people to to compete alongside of if you're going to be working with other people that are going to be in that competition. The coach is is really important, and and this isn't just a plug for coaches, but make sure that your coach takes a healthy approach because it's not worth your health in the end, and this can be done very, very healthy. It can be done uh, with fruits, with fats, with with healthy approach, Um, not taking everything uh, away. It's not about deprivation. There definitely is some depletion of certain things going along, but having a coach that's that's educated, certified, insured, to make sure that you're in the best possible hands, that that's my my recommendation. And I, and I don't take away from any coach. Everyone's got everyone's got their winners, and everyone's got their experience, and everyone's got their accolades. But just make sure that you choose the right coach for you, and uh, and you'll always have my blessing in doing so. And, uh, yeah. There you guys have it. Mr. Mark Campbell, Miss Angela O'Neill, both find them online. I want to thank both of you for coming on the INBF Canada Athlete Series and Trainer Series. Really appreciate you guys' time. Thanks for having us. Wishing you guys all an amazing day, guys. Share this YouTube video with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and also on YouTube. Comment it, like it. And make sure you share the inspiration, the message, guys, and inspire more athletes and more people out there to live a drug-free lifestyle and to prove yourself naturally. Have an awesome day.